Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Something that was added into Warzone with the launch of Season 4 was that of the new Intel missions, which apparently are going to be the way in which we're going to see the story of Modern Warfare unfold in the coming days, weeks, and months. Now, in the first week of the season, we saw the Fractured missions go live, in which we discovered how Alcatala actually stopped citizens from escaping by taking out various planes, and essentially this was initializing phase one of their attack on Verdansk. Now, that of course was the start to the initial backstory of Warzone, and the general situation that we've got going on in Verdansk at the moment. But this week seems to be tied more to the present rather than the past, as the story that unfolds throughout this week's Intel missions seems to indicate that there's going to be some pretty interesting updates coming that revolve around both the story of Warzone and also the gameplay itself. So today we're breaking down the new Hunting the Enemy Intel missions, where to find all the various intel, and what it means for the story and the future of Warzone. So if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, we are now less than 20,000 subscribers away from half a million, and we are always covering the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, all things of that nature. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on to stay up to date with everything there. Now, first things first, let's break down all the intel itself and where exactly to find it. So in total, you do only need to find six pieces of intel, even though there are seven steps. Uh, the final step basically just gives you the last image, and you don't actually need to do anything for that one. So, step one here is to find the location in the message that Ghost sent you, and this one is actually super easy. When you go to view the intel, you can see an image of a file cabinet that's inside of the pool by the storage area on the map. So, to find this intel, all you need to do is go to that exact location. Like I said, this one is very straightforward. Simply land at the pool, head on upstairs to the balcony area, and you'll be able to see the gold coin on the cabinet. Collect that, and a message from Ghost is going to appear on your screen, and you're going to be good to go on to the next step. Also, a little side note here, there is a chance that this intel could actually be glitched for you. It was, in fact, glitched for me, so I couldn't even grab this first intel, but my buddy Lazy was able to help me out and grab the footage for this today. His link is going to be down below if you guys do want to go and show him some love. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, if this is glitched for you, I don't believe there is a workaround at the moment. It may be something you either have to keep trying and just hope that it may actually fix for you, or uh, it won't fix and unfortunately you're going to be stuck without it. So hopefully you're not going to run into that. Anyways, after you grab the first piece of intel, you will need to back out of the match. As far as I'm aware, you can only do one intel per game, but backing out does save your progress. Uh, you don't need to play through the match or anything like that. You can just back out and you'll be good to go. So, when you head back to the main menu, you should see that Objective 2 is now available to complete, and the message here says, Signal intelligence was relayed from airport military wing. And this intel image says, Zakaev is behind this. Need to know how. Signal intelligence relayed from Arm 4 military wing, West Airport Tarmac. Start here. So, in order to find this piece of intel, obviously, we are headed to the airport. And here you'll need to go to the sort of military tents area. This one is specifically going to be to the right of the blown up plane in the sort of L-shaped building. And right inside of this building, there is a stack of files you can interact with, and this will allow you to complete step number two. Then, going back to the main menu, objective three says, communication interference tracked to western bunker. And this intel image shows bunker number three, which is on the far left side of the map. So luckily, this is another super easy one. The intel here is going to be right inside of the bunker. You will need to jump in and actually go underground for this one. And right next to the actual bunker door, there is a table with a laptop on it. The intel is on said table. Collect it and you are on to step number four. So for step number four, this one is actually pretty unique. The message says an enemy laptop could supply the intel. The image here says Zakaev accessing bunkers. Laptop could supply intel. Need a solid perk to hack in. So, for this one, you are actually required to have the spotter perk equipped in order for this step to work. So, make sure you do have that on your loadout. I would suggest, obviously, doing this in Plunder. And then, you need to head back to bunker number 3, the same exact place we were just at in the last step. And for this one, go back to that table with the laptop on it, and you should be able to hack into the laptop. Keep in mind, if you do not have the spotter perk on your class, you will not be able to hack into the laptop. Which, honestly, I think is a pretty cool way to make this entire easter egg, or mission I guess is what it really is, uh, a bit more involved. Anyways, hack into the laptop and you'll be on to step number 5. Now, objective 5 says that a meeting took place downtown. 
and when you view the intel, you can see an image of a building with a few vans parked outside of it. So this area is essentially going to be right across the river from the hospital area, and it'll be in that little section of buildings. And of course, you are going to want to go inside of the building shown on screen right now. Inside, there's going to be a little meeting room of some sort. There are a few chairs and also a whiteboard. And when you approach the whiteboard, the intel prompt should appear and you can collect it. Now, that is essentially step number five in a nutshell, right? However, there is something a bit more interesting to point out here. Inside of this meeting room on the wall, there is actually an Alcatala flag that's been hung, meaning this was an Alcatala meeting. And as we get into step six, you'll see that what was discussed in this meeting ties into the overall storyline. So getting into step number six, this is the final piece of intel you will need to find. And the message here says, the enemy wants to catch a train. And when you view the intel, you can see a sticky note that was presumably on the whiteboard from the meeting room, and it says train, 1930 Express. So obviously, there is a train leaving at 1930. So for this one, you of course need to head to the train station, right in the sort of uh, main area of it, where you can see the various departures on the board. Now the intel itself is available when you walk up to the schedule board, grab it and you will have effectively completed this week's intel mission. But of course, as we know, collecting the intel is only part one of this two-part process. Part two is actually deciphering the intel and trying to tie it into the overall storyline. So once you've collected all the intel, the final image you see is simply an image of the schedule board with various trains listed under some Russian text. And the message there says, learn the status of the 1930 Express. Now on the image, if you were to go in and figure out what all this text means, all the numbers on the left side are the times of the trains. That one is pretty obvious. I believe the numbers next to that are the actual train numbers themselves. After that, the category translates to point of view, which uh, seems kind of weird, but the train we are interested in is the train at 1930, and that is described as express, which of course we already knew thanks to the sticky note. Then after that, the category to the right of point of view translates to status, and the train at 1930 is listed as canceled which is really the most important part of all of this. And then the category on the far right is actually platform, and as we can see, train 134, the train we're interested in, is at platform 4. But honestly, the platform here I don't think is anything too important, nor is the point of view or the type of train, I guess. What we are the most interested in here is the status, which of course is cancelled, meaning the train that the enemy was supposed to be on was cancelled and presumably they never left. Now, who is the enemy in question here? Well, if we look back at last week's intel, the final image says, we thank the lion for his support. He may return to Yerzikstan. So was this train supposed to take the lion to Yerzikstan? If I had to guess, I would say yes. But obviously this train was canceled. So the lion, AKA Al-Assad, as far as we can tell, appears to be stuck in Verdansk at the moment. However, I believe the leaks that we got recently regarding the trains may actually tie into all of this, because as we know, there are files in the game relating to a moving train being spawned in, meaning we are going to see an update to the trains at some point in the future. And we also know that season four apparently added in some underground transit areas and just connecting the dots here, underground train areas, underground bunkers, Alcatala has access to the bunkers, particularly bunker number 11, it's looking like the lion may be trying to flee Verdansk via the underground trains through the bunkers, or at least he may try. Perhaps in the coming weeks, we're going to be able to put a stop to that by gaining access to the second part of the bunkers, which has been inaccessible ever since the game launched. Now, keep in mind, that is not necessarily the confirmed way that things are going to play out. That is simply me theorizing. But what this intel mission says to me is that something regarding the trains is going to be updated in the near future. You know, this is definitely a tease to the trains in my mind. And uh, just looking at it, the only major changes that we've got with season four all pertain to the trains, or I guess the tracks for now. And with the leaks that we have regarding a moving train and underground transit areas, it seems like things are beginning to line up right in front of us. So with all of that being said, that is effectively how the hunting the enemy intel can be completed and also how it ties into the storyline as far as we can tell. And that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and everything in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. 
As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all SCUF, G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found in the description below. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.